Dear cosmonauts, allow me on behalf of our region to congratulate you with successful return, wish you good health, fast adaptation, and uh, so that in the future you would be able to continue space exploration. Uh, all of our, your activities that you have done over five and a half months, uh, let them serve for the further development of our Earth. On behalf of Akim and Kazakhstan, allow me to hand you our traditional uh, symbols for a good memory of your arrival in Kazakhstan. Dear Anton Anatoly, then Daniel, on behalf of Russian Aviation, congratulations on successful completion of your flight. Uh, your flight is a result of work of many people, Roscosmos, Work, Energia, uh, the Ministry of uh, Air Defense, uh, which participated actively today in your landing. The most important thing is that you are here back on Earth, and you have performed the kind of work that was delegated to you. I wish you fast uh, rehabilitation and success. Thank you. And according to old tradition of cosmonautics, and those traditions are always observed, uh, going back to the first flight of man, Yuri Gagarin, we are uh, presenting you gifts from Ross Aviation. Thank you. Please, if you have questions, go ahead. I have a question for Skapler. Anton, in your blog, you were asked a question. Have uh, ISS fulfilled your expectations that you had prior to your flight? Thank you for this question. Uh, I was more surprised, although I've heard many stories, we viewed many videos and photos uh, from the board of ICS, but to see it all live, to see great power and something that has such a huge investment of resources, there are over 16 countries that participate in this project, it was unforgettable. I was also lucky because uh, I had an EVA and uh, you should be able to see what a huge uh, the station is looking from it as an outsider, as an observer. And thank you very much, everybody 
who participates in the work of the station, who assists with their activities. Thank you very much. They want to give you a gift. Uh, we'll be very happy. Uh, we didn't have enough mail there. Please. What beautiful rockets. Can you see? These are real. One from a team. You're also a little here. Dan Burbank, Expedition 30 Commander, welcome home. A five and a half month odyssey on the International Space Station. First, what were your thoughts as you and your Russian crewmates undocked, backed away from this place that you had called home for almost a half year? Well, it was definitely a very bittersweet moment, I think, for all of us. You know, on the one, on the one hand, it's it's a shame to leave. You know, such a wonderful place. We have so many memories that we that we built over the course of half a year up there, and uh, it was a tremendous, absolutely tremendous time. Exciting, um, so much fun. On the other hand, you spend so much time away from family, and probably the best part about about all of the return is getting a chance to go back and, uh, and and be with the family again. So, I think we all feel very happy that things went as well as they did, and uh, and we have just a wealth of memories uh, coming out of this, and uh, can't wait to start sharing them with our families. An ironic end, in a, in a way. You had a wintry send-off back on November 14th. We couldn't even see your Soyuz vehicle lift off uh, a mile away at the launch pad. But today, we had live television of you and your crewmates descending under your parachute to a landing uh, in a sun-kissed Kazakh steppe. What were your thoughts during the entry? Was it everything you thought it would be? And, and the first thoughts is you smelled fresh air when they opened the hatch. Yeah, I think actually, you know, we talk about it a lot. So there was there was nothing mysterious in the basic concept of how the entry goes. Uh, by the same token, every stage of it was impressive, and uh, and it was amazing because in the vehicle you are so close to the uh, to where the pyro bolts are. You're so close to where all the various hardware is when the valves open and things like that. And so you hear a click, you'll hear a bang, and then you look out the window and. Uh, and uh, separation will have occurred. And uh, so you actually feel you know, much closer to the vehicle, I think, uh, than, than I expected. Now, when, it, when you talk about when the, uh, the chutes open, I mean, you cannot probably describe it um, with, uh, with an, enough superlatives. It, it, there's no doubt in your mind that, uh, that, uh, that something has happened. I think probably the mo if I were to sum it all up, the thing that was most amazing to me is all the time you spend on space station, you see the Earth scrolling by beneath you, and you know conceptually you're going at 17,000 miles an hour, but you never really get that sensation of speed. You don't really get it until you re-enter in a capsule, and and you have a tremendous amount of deceleration as you as you start as the G's start to build up and the vehicle slows down, and you think well. That's pre and after a few seconds of that, you think, well, we probably have stopped by now. And no, you haven't. You've, you've barely taken a tiny slice of that speed away. And, uh, and, and it's just incredible. That is probably the, the thing that, that, uh, that was most clearly driven home to me, uh, the amount of energy, kinetic energy, that orbital vehicles have because of the amount of time that it, and, and, the, and the sheer force of the, uh, of the uh, deceleration. Uh, during the entry, and yeah, yeah, just really amazing. Um, landing was also quite, uh, quite, quite impressive, I guess I'd put it. But uh, 
but when the hatch opened and we saw our friends' faces looking across it, uh, that, that open uh, hatchway, and you got to smell planet Earth again, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Dan, you fulfilled a lifelong dream. You commanded an orbital city in the sky, basically, for almost a half year. If you had to write your memoirs, first impressive, the most impressive thing about your stay on the station and what this complex means. Well, my, I had three goals when we started. Number one was to take care of ourselves, to take care of the crew. Number two was take care of the hardware. And number three was to do as much science as, uh, as we could get done during uh, the time we were there. And, and I really feel good now that I think we've done all three of those. Um, when I look back at it, just to be a part of the, this monstrous team, this, this huge, incredible international team that makes Space Station possible, that's helping us to pave the way for, the next, for humanity's next step beyond low Earth orbit, to, have a, to be involved a little bit in that and to, to, have, had, um, to have had a small piece of that is, uh, is more than I could have ever hoped for. Yeah. Dan Burbank, welcome home. Congratulations. 165 days in space. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks, Rob. Heartfelt greetings on our soil. Congratulations on successful completion of your mission. Speedy rehabilitation. Thank you. Congratulations. Great guys, you look very well. Congratulations. Thank you.